Alright. Last try. If it doesn't go live this time, I don't know, bro. I see it. It says sending data. Facebook is live. YouTube is online. No way. Picardo is online. And Twitch is the last one that's loading, I guess. There it goes. It's live, bro. We're live. All right. So, sorry, everybody. I had to cut it off and come back. So, Harley Davidson, Todd Bemis, Milan, Dan Grove, all of you, thank you for coming in and out of the chat while I'm getting this figured out. I don't know why YouTube's fucking with me. It's like doing weird shit. I just had to like disconnect everything and then reconnect everything like on the, on this other software. And then uh, yeah, it's all working now. We're all here. Actually, Twitch is not working now, but whatever. Twitch can figure it out. We got the main one going. We got the Skull Squad live. Uh, yeah. Cool. So here we have another pilot mask, right? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint this up. So we're gonna go ahead and lay white sealer on it, and we're gonna do an American flag across here. But I have, you know, these candy paints have me thinking differently now. Uh, so what we're gonna do is is base coat the whole thing white. We're gonna lay down our stars, right? We have a lot of these stars still left. We're gonna cut some of them up and, and put them in there. And then we're gonna do all our shading, right? We're gonna do all the shadows on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and tape some stuff off. And then we're gonna do the candy coats on it. And hopefully um, the shading and the shadows and stuff will stay even when I spray the colors so that we don't have to do like, you know, crazy shadowing over the coloring and stuff like that'll be there what's up Chris E how's it going all right I can't believe that I don't know why it wasn't working I still have to figure out how to do those skull squad streams and not have it break anyway we're gonna get started here and lay some sealer over this I'm going to use white sealer. So I know this one's a little earlier than normal, this stream. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what I need to get done today. And yeah, we have some shirts to get done as well. I don't know if I'll get to those on stream. I might leave those for later on tonight. Just off stream. Do those on my own time. What's up, Eliza? How's it going? Let's give this good sealer a good shake. And then we're going to lay some in here. And we got a good breeze going through here today. We got the fan going. And I hope you guys can hear me pretty good. You should be able to hear me over the music, right? Can you guys hear the music? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just gonna start. Just build up a few coats of the steel around there. Yo, what up, Todd? How's it going? Skull Squad. What up, Justice? Yo, the skulls. It's 
So you guys want to know what I did with that Skull Squad painting here? I got something to show you guys. I got to show it to you because it's pretty dope. Give me one sec. So that Skull Squad painting, check this out, yo. And this a fucking bug landed and I had to swipe it off and yeah, that happened. But I could just, I'm gonna add some skulls around there in black so we'll get that covered up. But look at this. I'm, I'm gonna put it up at the local paint supply place and their name is G4 Paint. And look at, look at the color difference between the cameras, yo. So I laid poison green, right? over everything and I had these stencils laid down and then I took the stencils off and then I laid the tequila yellow candy over it and it's all in gloss and the createx gloss but look at how it looks on the bottom cam on the small cam and look at the big cam the color difference Is that crazy or what? That color difference is crazy to me. So yeah, I'll be taking that over there once I get these skulls painted in. That bug is an unfortunate, we're gonna make it a happy mistake though. But check out the skulls with the candy over it. Oh man, that candy is just a game changer, bro. It has me thinking differently about paintings now. Like that, look at that lettering, it's like ghosted in there, in the yellow. That's so sick. <laughs> look at there, look at the light. Look at the way the light. <coughs> look at from far. And then if I bring it in close, look at how the light changes it on that camera. Oh, bro, that's so sick. I love this. And then you get it up close to the light and look at that green comes out. Oh, man, that's nice. I'm pretty proud of myself on this one. <laughs> Is that silly or what? I think it's because those lights are really focused right here. And this camera's up close, so it looks a lot brighter on here. But look at that orange, that tequila yellow on that camera. Compared to this one, like, what? That's super sick. So yeah, anyway, back to what we were doing. Let's not get distracted. I just wanted to show you guys, let you guys know, the Skull Squad will hang like proud in uh, the local paint store, so. Who knows, maybe it'll get them to start selling Createx. So I could just run in there and get Createx whenever I need. Yeah, but man, I don't know. That bug came out of nowhere. It was like all nice and quiet in there. And then this bug was like mm, right next to my ear. And then it just, it went straight from my ear into the painting and I had no, it was still alive and moving so if I didn't flick it off it was just gonna like crawl across the painting. So I was like, flicked it off to the side and it, yeah, the candy was still fresh on there and it, oh well. And we'll turn them into happy little skulls. That was the world's way, the universe's way of telling me that that painting was not done, son. It's like, it's great, but you could do better. Fuck, you're probably right. <laughs> uh, oh, what's up, Michael? How's it going? Closed caption? I have closed caption on? What?
Yeah, the the Pache's. Look, I don't know, man. The Pache's are good airbrushes. Like the, the Talon, I I like that airbrush. The VL, I had never like gone full in depth into it until I bought one. But even back in the day when I remember seeing other artists use them. And then I would try that and I would just be like, no, man. Because getting fine lines is, is. It's just easier. I wouldn't say it's like all that hard with the Peche, but like compared to an Iwata, like. like a, Back in the day, we were all using the BCS. Um, yeah, the BCS was just like. Lines, man. Lines. All the lines you wanted as fast as you wanted in an it was just always so good. Um, letting that layer dry up a little bit. <clears throat> Make sure we get this nice and bright, bright white. Yeah, the talent is by Pache, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, I love my talent too. It does everything I want it to. Get that sealer out of there, make sure it's rinsed out. Rinse out. Get some paper towels. There's a newer version. There's a newer version of what? The, the talent? What about the Eclipse? Yeah, the, the... That's what I just said. The Eclipse BCS. That's what it is, but a lot of us just... We never, I don't know. We always just said BCS. Because all the Iwata airbrushes, like, this is the revolution, but it's CR. But I guess this one you could call it revolution, because it's the only top feed revolution. But, like, in the Eclipse line, I believe there's a couple of them. Because the BCS is the bottom feed, and then there's the CS. They're all the same, they're just different feeds, but since we painted t-shirts, we had the, the BCS. Yeah, hey, you're cool. I just, I thought you were here. A backup one, just not sure what to get. Man, I don't know. It's hard to, I have quite a few reviews up for airbrushes. I would just go look at those reviews and see what you think. Let's Which one you like, you know? It all depends on what you're trying to paint. I don't know. some black some wicked detail black yeah that that was that was it Hoffer back in the day man 
I usually ran with three. I had a black and a white and then one for colors. And then I did get eventually so busy that I, I or like I went and bought out a, one of the stores and I had about 10 airbrushes total set up. But then that just led to nightmares because like one time somebody dropped a rack, like one of the customers bumped into the rack of airbrushes and like three of the airbrushes got messed up. And then I had to buy parts for three <laughs> airbrushes, which is like, ah, you know, and yeah. So then I, I learned, you know, to just be really fast with what you got. And yeah. But yeah, it was always about speed, man. You, you hated to waste time not airbrushing. The, the less time you spent on the trigger and the, the more time you spent cleaning and whatnot. It's like watching dollar bills, like escape your hands. So here's the part where I'm going to take. So you can see it's really bright white, right, using that sealer. And that's it's pretty much dry. We're also just going to lay these in. We're not really going to, like, push them down or anything like that. We're just going to kind of lightly lay them down. So American flag, obviously, it has the stars on this side over here. And this guy said he wanted it to be kind of wavy. You know, he wanted more of a realistic look where the last guy just wanted the colors and he wanted it, you know, just kind of standard. This guy said, no, he does want waves. He wants it more like a, a airbrush style, you know. So then I'm just going to take some of these and like this one here, I'm going to cut it. Right? I don't know if you guys can see that. On the camera right here. Maybe that one would sit right there, but there's going to be a fold. Right, so all I did was cut it. Now we're going to maybe drop that down, or maybe up. Let's go up. Oh, come on. Come on, get in there. Just like that. See, so it's a little bit off. Do the same thing. Get the next one. Right on, Todd. Thank you, sir, for sharing it out. Uh, maybe let's put one over here that's not. And then we get this one. And we'll put this one down. Right, right about there. And again, there will be a fold there. So we're just going to go ahead and maybe put it a little bit up. And we'll make sure to add a shadow there to add the fold. And then maybe, maybe there's a fold over here. Let's say right here. And you don't get to see the rest of the star. Maybe that's just in the in the fold. And maybe we take the, the rest of what was that star and we put it down here as the bottom part of the fold comes down. Right? And then we have one that's completely showing there, so we might as well just add another one. Another one! And then... One more. So we got a couple in there that are like folded up. Side. So now, we can put that aside. Those little stars were handy, man. I'm glad I cut those out. They've come in handy for quite a few projects. Uh, let's see here. The captioning is helpful. Good. You're very fair on my reviews. I try to be. Solvents all the way for the win. I guess. I hope you're wearing a mask every time you're painting. The Pache Vision, huh? I'll make sure to check it out. I haven't seen that one.
people are getting tired of you posting the live feeds? Why though? What the hell? Why are people mad? See then. Here's one of the French curves from the skull stencil set. One of the I think this was one of the rejects or something. Or actually this is one of the ones of the discontinued material. So we don't make it in this material anymore. It's like really opaque and really stiff. And we use a different material now. So I'm gonna take that black that I mixed up, right? And we're gonna start laying in some shading here. And we'll go right over the stars, just like that. And a little shadows coming in. See. Same thing on that other fold. Just drop the stencil in. You know what? There's probably people that think <laughs> there might be people that think that it's the same live feed that you're just sharing like the same one over and over. You know, because like the the name is almost the same. I don't know. Right, so we got some folds coming in there. Shadow coming in there. Yeah, that's why I don't know. That's why I just I go live on Facebook, but those groups are there's always a lot of bias in those groups, bro. I mean, that's that's all I'm gonna say. So I don't know if it's it's against you because you always be sharing all the time, but it shouldn't matter if you're sharing all the time. Like if you're finding stuff to share, then share it. Or if there's a limit, you know, maybe they should post that limit up so that people don't keep sharing stuff all day, every day. Maybe it's a bias against me. I don't know, bro. From my, from my experience, it seems like people have their favorites that they want to promote and whatnot. I'm just, I'm just here painting. <laughs> it's like at the end of the day it's like yo you want to watch watch you don't want to watch it's all right i'll go cry on my own time bro it'll be okay <laughs> yeah i think that might be the, the thing too is posting it in all the groups <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little bit overkill. But that's what you gotta do because not everybody's a part of every group. Because like I said, every group has its bias. So people leave groups, go make their own group, and then people who agree with that person go and join that group. And that's just the way it goes. So we got some stars in there now. And we got the waves, right? Kind of laid out in there. Sweet. Set that black aside. Make sure our stars are nice and down. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the blue. And I do wanna burn this tape before I lay it on there, so I'm just gonna kind of rub it on my shirt real quick. Um, and that's because we got all this fine shading and stuff with the flag. We don't want none of that to actually get pulled up. We want this tape to be kind of subdued.
too. Just make sure you get that edge down. It's hard to get everybody together, bro. Everybody's everybody's doing the same thing, but everybody thinks they're special all the time. It's like there's there's a million ways to reach the goal, and sometimes watching those other people will, will show you a different way, bro. Not everybody was learning, was born and learned how to alley you, bro. Some people had to see somebody else do it and go, oh shit, I could do that. I just need to find somebody to help me out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, theory here. Uh, do I want to use this ultramarine blue? Yeah, I don't want to use this. Are you using this? Are you are using on this project please what mic brush are using on this project please question mark I don't understand Milan the singular version of humanity's superiority complex <laughs> I mean bro I, I mean I hate when people do it to me too so I can't even be like oh you know like when I post something and people go, Oh, you should have done it this way. And it's just like, bro, I, I'm doing it the way that, you know, it's hard to not just go, you know, I'm the one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when people nitpick, I post something and people, nit Oh, what brush uh, we're using, we're going to be using the Spar Max Max three, the Pache Talon, or actually, Probably not the Pache Talon today, but the Iwata Revolution, the Spar Max Max 3 for the shading, and then actually that'll probably be it because after I lay these candies down, it's probably going to be done. But if anything, I might bust out the velocity to add some highlights or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I'm using a bunch of airbrushes. So you gotta clean all that out. Give this candy a good shake. And this is marine blue from the Createx 2.0 line, right? And uh, so far, I mean, they did, it does say in the data sheet that this does not have a pot life when you mix it and it does not sit uh, like exposed to air. And so far that is held up to be true. Um, this color in here is still very much liquid. And hasn't like solidified on me and still yeah pro pours very nice so put some of that in there and again another reason why I would probably choose this water-based candy over like a you know automotive candy is because I could just have them ready on the fly and if I just need to spray a little bit of blue I don't have to go and get all these chemicals out Literally, that's what all of this. I mean, this is technically chemicals too, but at least it's not as crazy. And I'm just gonna lay this ultramarine blue in there. Like, I know, I would, there was a time when I swore by automotive paints as well. Polyurethanes are very nice. Not gonna lie. And you could thin them out really fine, and you could get some really nice fine detail. Uh, trying to ignore the toll that it might take on your body um, it's probably not worth the, the risk and that's why I, I I was already using Createx for a lot of stuff and once I found out Createx like you know sticks to everything and has no problem being sprayed on bikes and cars and sitting in the sun is okay and all that stuff then I just made the search and it's like yeah I 
I would like to still be painting in my 70s and still be doing these live streams going, hey, everybody, today we're going to be painting some of this and you know, I'm going to be all jittery, you know, but I'll still hopefully, hopefully still be painting. No, but most automotive paintings I've ever seen don't, don't really make that long. But yeah. Wow. Can't argue with probably your things, they are nice, they do thin out real good. So. But like, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way. I don't know. Pressure is a little bit low, so make sure to turn that up. Have to remember I'm spraying candy. So yeah, we got all that candy in there. Alright, let me get you guys in there so you guys can see those shading and the shadows come through. It's so strange. I gotta get you guys like at the perfect there you guys go, see. I like that. Just makes it a different way of painting. We burn the tape so the tape's not pulling up all our shading. Bam! Look at that. It look real nice, like. Cool. So now we got to do these lines, line per line. And there's all these waves and stuff, so. Start. I'm gonna bring out my cutting mats. Right. Use this tape we already have here. <laughs> yeah, me too, Hopper. If I had access to videos, I didn't have access to shit, bro. I am completely self taught. We've gone over this story lots of times where I have learned out of a book, and most of the people that watch this channel very appreciate the videos because most of the how to airbrush videos or instructionals or anything like that are charged and that's just the way it is man i'm not gonna sit here and talk smack about people that charge for videos because that's I, mean, I have videos that i charge for but Everybody does it differently. So I'm going to have to have one go all the way across there. So let's just kind of do the same thing.
Yo, yo, what's up, brother Jonathan? How's it going? Why not use pearls? So this guy said he did not want pearls. He said he wants it to look kind of more realistic. He wants to just, he don't want it to be sticking out. So that's what we're going for. I even brought it up when we were talking. I said, you want to like, because he was a friend of the other guy, right? So, so you want it pearly like his? He's like, no, 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 I don't want that. He's like, I just kind of want it more like realistic. He's like, all right. So that's what we're giving him. Again, one of the typical things is I got to stay within parameters, you know. Man, that's part of the job. I can't just be like, well, fuck what he said. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> that's not how this works. Oh, I don't like that at the end there, actually. Just take that off. And we can put this one down. Yeah, if it only worked like that. I decide what you want, bro. Oh, you want an American flag? But I'm from Mexico, bro. We're going to put a Mexican flag on there. Sorry. <laughs> like, nah, that, that would not fly. one last little stripe up here up here we're gonna add one last little stripes one last little stripes like this and we're gonna make them look very nice yes okay see that oh very nice very nice like Cover up that blue yeah, and burn the tape. Yeah, unless you want to make stuff for yourself all the time, bro. Or piss people off. You can get somebody to bring you stuff and then you're like, oh yeah, I know what you said, but then I thought this would look cooler. And they're going to look at you like, bro, what kind of drugs are you on right now? Because that's not what I wanted. 
Like, I don't care what you said. That had meaning to me. You know, people will get mad right away, bro. Like, I don't know what. So when I get comments like that where it's like, you should have done it this way. You should have done it that way. You should have used this color. And it's just like, y'all, you don't understand I'm painting it for somebody? Like, I can't just do what you like. And if you want me to do it like the way you like, you could place an order with me, bro. And stop getting mad. <laughs> I'm only one man. You know. There you go, we got it all taped up and ready for some red candy. I kind of don't like how wide that is, but uh, should I fix that? Should I fix that? Yeah, let's fix it, bro. Let's fix it before we do something stupid that I don't like. We're going to take that piece of tape off. Let's see, we're going to take that off. We're going to come around. We're going to flip it. Flip it like this, then we're going to put it down, and now it doesn't make it up, oh yeah, this, perfect, I just got to cut off, A skull on a gas tank door that's nice dude do it don't be scared Todd bro you watch enough live streams by now that you should you should uh, you should know how to cut a nice stencil and you should know how to kind of do it you know even if it's not the best looking skull at least you should be able to get a decent enough I believe in you Todd bro I believe in you we don't call you the air Todd for no reason I believe I believe you have the ability. Okay, let's not get let's not get paint on my cutting mat anymore. I've done enough of that. So put that down there. Then we have this blood red candy. What's up, RC? RC masker, masker. <laughs> You have a stencil, then then yeah, man, you got it. You can knock that shit out. I believe, Tom. And I'm just making sure to get this candy nice and shook up. Get all them stuff that settles at the bottom to get shaken up. Get the Iwata Revolution out. And we forgot to clean out the blue. So it's still sitting there, so clean this out real quick the car is orange uh, what's up Tim greetings greetings sir from Colorado USA Yellow or sand skull? Yeah. He does care. <laughs> Bro, just do it to the best of your ability, man. I believe in you. I'm sure you've been practicing, right? You've been doing like some dagger strokes and lines. I mean, you showed me those pictures. I think you. I think you'll be all right. Don't, don't psych yourself out, bro. It's a 55 Nomad Wagon. I think you're just psyching yourself even worse. You think I do that when I go to a job? It's like, you know, look at the car and go, oh shit, but I'm painting on a fucking, you know, 
Corvette today. Or like the last job, like painting on a Dodge Ram. Like, I don't think it should matter what you're painting on. You're gonna paint, you're gonna paint. I think a lot of guys try to flex too, man. They try to be like, this is my car right here. Boom. Yeah, it's just like, all right, cool. What are we painting? <laughs> like, I don't need to know, man. I just, I just need to know what I need to do to get on with my life. Get cocky, he says. <laughs> That's how you psych yourself up to do something and then you just get cocky and like, fuck it. I'm the best. I'm the best. Just stand in the mirror. Bro, you're the best. I know you're the best. Say it. I'm the best. Who's the leader of the Skull Squad? Me. I'm the leader of the Skull Squad, boy. I'm the best. I believe today I will be Master Painter. Today. Like one, two, three, four. I'm the best airbrusher there ever was before. Start running drills every morning. Get yourself ready, bro. Make sure you're the best. <laughs> the best around, bro. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I can't even hate, though, because there was a time when I called myself the best. When I lived in Denver, Colorado, and uh, we were doing so much work, bro. Like, this is around the time that MySpace, like, started kicking off. Right? We weren't even on MySpace yet. Um, and we were doing so much work and doing ridiculous stuff on, like, lowriders and... All these weird cars and trucks and stuff and motorcycles. I the wazoo, like so many shirts too. They like, were airbrushing shirts like, bam. But that's when I we had an ad going where it was like me and my partner had an ad like Den Denver's premier airbrush service. You know the best in Denver. Don't go anywhere else. Then the economy died. <laughs> and I just, just, by then I had already gone to do other stuff. We ended up closing down that shop and, yeah. There was other shops though, like there was, uh, I think, Capone's? There was like a custom, they did like custom vehicles. And that place closed down. And, I don't know, that was like affiliated with some big, big name stuff. And, Yeah, that, that was our whole thing back then. It was like Denver's premier airbrush service. But the, like the car serv the cars were going nuts. Like there were so many cars. Uh, I don't think American Chopper was on the air yet. Like the motorcycle thing. Because we weren't doing like really choppers. We were doing like a lot of like just regular motorcycles. Like uh, sportsters and stuff. But like skulls every day, boy. <laughs> and then the shirts every weekend at the market, you know, it's just like people knew it. Then that's how we picked up business. We'd be at the market painting shirts. Do you do that on motorcycles? Yeah, we do that on motorcycles too. And, All right, cool. I mean, here's your business card. Hit us up. And that's what I had planned to do again this year, but then. Then we all got sick, bro, and we we're all grounded, so. Just making the most of it now. But 
set. That's why we had the car already. We had everything already in set to just hit these markets, hit these events. My whole thing was we were going to be promoting on the channel. Mike's Brush coming to, you know, a town near you. That kind of thing. Yeah, it's just practice. Todd, you got that, bro. Do you airbrush like a full-time job? Yeah, bro, this is what I do. Where I put music that hypes me. Yeah, I like listening to music. That's why I have the headphones on. I'm listening to music right now. I kind of got a good good set of music this time. I don't know. Can you guys hear the music? I'll turn it up just a little bit. Um, but I just have, like to have music chilling in my ears while I'm painting. Also, having you guys, it's kind of become a habit to have you guys to talk to. So it's not as... It's airbrushing usually by myself. It's a very like lonely ordeal. I'm just sitting there by myself, bro, doing doing art. Nobody sees it. The only person that will ever see it really, like if I post it on Facebook, maybe you get a few likes, whatever, you know, but the only person that's really ever gonna see is the, the person that had it made. Maybe his family or his coworkers or like this guy is like little squad, you know what? They might see it. But like most other airbrushers I'll probably never see it even even if I do it on YouTube you know a lot of people are just not gonna see it so. but it's fun having you guys talk to you got this Todd just I wouldn't say just go for it but like plan it out make sure you got the stencil ready make sure you know maybe if you do it Maybe do it first on a piece of paper or something. Make sure you could execute it. I don't know. If it makes you nervous, a little practice. A little practice. Oh man, using those candies is just... This cheats, bro. Like, the candies are just as cheats as the HD stencils. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna combine the two. Tomorrow, that's what. Oh, yeah, tomorrow, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow. I'm gonna bust out some of the HD stencils, and we are gonna have fun. That was another thing I had planned too. I guess I could talk about it now. Now it won't really matter. Uh, we had a Hummer that we were going to paint, but for, like for the Denver Broncos. But football season got canceled, so, or postponed, or whatever they did. So now th that's whole thing. And it was it was primarily going to be used for like tailgating and parties and stuff. But obviously now I don't even know if that's going to be a thing anymore. So check that out. Those candies do make it super easy, right? Okay? And now I just gotta go take it outside, put some of that 4050 gloss on it, and it'll be sent on its way. Pretty cool. Everything makes you nervous. I can't be nervous, man. You gotta, you gotta get in there. I hate to compare it to this, but it's, it's kind of like the first time you're having sex, right? You really don't know what you're doing, right? But you're just excited to be there, and you, you just give it your best. That's what you should be doing, because then every time. Then you go back to do that, then you're just gonna feel a little more comfortable, a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more comfortable, and eventually you're just gonna be laying down them strokes, you know, you're gonna have your game down where you're just like tss, 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 spray like a madman, you know. That's all I could say.
<laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> You'll be stroking it, man. <laughs> you guys are funny, bro. But there you guys go. I mean, that one was a pretty basic. Like, it doesn't get any easier than with the candy paints. Because now I don't got to go back. Like, you know, usually I would have had to have masked every color off. And then do every color. And then kind of shade in. And then try to match up the shading to the color. You know, but this, this way, like, you just do the pre-shading. You come and you do your little tapes up. And then you just spray your candies. And bro, like, just cheats. And it looks so good, like the, the deepness of the red, but with the shadows in there, it just looks really good. Touch up the spots. This little blue right here. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just hit it with some red. Just uh, red loaded up. I think I still have red loaded up. Yep. So, here, since it bothers Mr. Stouffer so much, I'll just show. There you go. There you go, guy. Just for you. I fixed it. Now it's perfect. You gotta try that color line. The, the candy line is very nice. Um, it is a little bit more expensive line and I would say order the, the color of candies that you want, right? But then order yourself like the biggest bottle of clear, the, the Createx clear that you can because yeah, you're gonna end up going through way more clear than you will with candy. Like the candy will last you forever. Um, so, uh, but yeah, like I don't know how many of you were here from the beginning when I showed this painting. But like the results you can get with that candy is so sick. Look at the color. I like the color difference, bro. It's so sick. So we'll just put that in the back over there. So, Createx candies, bro, all the way. Look at that. Pretty, pretty nice. I like how it looks on this camera. Look how orange it is. And then over here, you get both of the colors. You get that, that tequila yellow in there, but then you also get the profoundness of the green. And then all the detail up in here, like, oh, man, it looks really good. Probably move, move it just a little bit, like there you go. There you go, right there. Tell me that doesn't look good. <laughs> Is that all you mix it with? It is clear, no reducer. You can reduce it if you want to, but it honestly, like, if you see me spray, it sprays kind of like Createx straight out of the bottle. And adding reducer increases the, the dry time, the flash time. So if you want to be able to work fast with it like I do, I probably wouldn't. Um, the clear, the gloss, the 4050, uh, does dry a little bit slower as it is on its own. And that one is probably a little thicker to spray. Uh, maybe throw a little reducer. Since it's going to take a while to dry anyway, I would maybe throw a little reducer in that anyway. But other than that, you know, I don't know, can't really say much. So yeah, there you go guys, that's today's stream. I kind of went off on my own little rants, talking to myself. But uh, it's nice to have you guys, hopefully you guys like that video. Again, do the whole the whole thing with using Createx, the Autoborn Sealer White. We use the Wicked line to do the black shading. And then the candy 2.0s to do those colors there that you see. Um, and yeah, I think the result speaks for itself. As well as the candies on there, like, look, look at that. That Skull Squad painting, boy. Look at the ghosted in skulls in the back. That looks so sick. And they were tan, and now they're, like, not tan. <laughs> So 
so no, I didn't spray. Well, yeah, I sprayed yellow over it. It's weird, bro. I masked. I explained it already, but I explained it again. I masked off the lettering, right? And then I sprayed the lemon yellow or the lemon yellow, really, the poison green candy over it. Took it off the stencils, and then I laid the tequila yellow over it. <clears throat> so yeah. Anyways, thank you guys all. Why am I? Why am I trying to do it to this camera? This camera. Peace out, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys like that video. Hopefully you guys like the, the results here, the paintings. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. I'm taking the day off from sanding on the house because my arms are killing me, bro. Like, like, I can't, like that, raising my arms up is like, ah, it hurts. So I'm taking a break today from doing that. <laughs> and I'll be back on that tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow with another stream as well. Uh, probably like around 3 p.m mountain time whatever that works out to in your own zone and uh, we'll be back doing some more stuff so thank you guys all for watching we'll see you guys in the next video later